tryna put me down on the ground But I hear this beat, yeah, this is something right in their minds In their minds, swear with me, boy, don't go right In their minds, come on at me, boy, this a fight In their minds It's a new era for the Philippines Football League and opening weekend has set up some tasty matchups. But the one coming up in just a few moments, perhaps the most intriguing of them all, it's a massive game between the defending champions, Kaya FC Iloilo, taking on the team from which they took the crown, United FC. This is going to be a great game. And it's uh, fantastic to have you all with us here live from the Rizal Memorial Football Stadium. Jing Ham Lang with the pleasure of calling this match with the man, the myth, the legend, Sadelf Tupas himself. What a contest we have on our hands. Now, first of all, Jing, welcome to the brand new season of the PFL. I just called the game with Camrod and I'm now uh, with you. So <laughs> I'm so happy to be here uh, with you, of course. It's been a long time coming and... Uh, and we've, uh, we've all been waiting for this rematch. Kaya FC, Iloilo against United City FC. Two powerhouse teams and two teams that have shared, you know, all the, the, the titles in the PFL. So, and what a way to, for us to start the, the brand new season. In the opening week at that, yep. United City and Kaya. I couldn't ask for more, you know. Uh, it's not often that you get on opening day a match that has title implications uh, really all around the game already. Well, 15 clubs this season in the PFL, and it's a, it's a sprint, really, uh, up to July because each team is going to be playing each other once, and that's going to be a, you know, a, a very, you know, testing mm -hmm. and challenging uh, time for each of the clubs because one miss and uh, it could spell trouble in your hopes of winning the title, and uh, that is really, you know, it, every game matters here, and every every point matters here in the pfl and when you're talking about these two teams united city and kaya extremely experienced but we're going to be seeing some interesting new additions to them and to learn more about the two sides that we are going to see today let's swing it over to sydney crespo on the sideline United City FC is brewing an ambitious goal after their return to the PFL and that is according to their new Romanian head coach, Coach Marian. This is his first coaching stint here in the Philippines with professional experiences in Vietnam and Indonesia. The preparation process for PFL to ultimately renew the legacy has been difficult but he is proud of the players that they have now. They are very approachable and coachable set of guys. Now going up against the defending champions in their first match is nothing new to coach Coach Marian, but those previous experiences were in other countries, so their priority is to be patient. On the other hand, five years with the defending champions, Kaya FC Iloilo head coach Yu is feeling the pressure. He admits that there is some sort of pressure to replicate what they did, especially that this is a totally different group. More than 10 players have left from the original champion team, 10 more players gone from the Asian Champions League squad. However, that pressure comes with excitement because he says he trusts these guys. Obviously, both teams would want to dominate this match but with new faces let's see who can do it first and fast back to you guys there's not just here in the stands today but all over the philippines and i'm sure members of cebu members of stallion the gig fc they're all going to be watching this game with a close eye to see what is the standard that they need to reach if they do want to compete for the title this year. Individuals to look out for will be the new influx of foreign talent that we are seeing. And as Sydney mentioned, while Kaya are the defending champions, this is a new addition of this squad. Parky Young, Eric Esso, Kaishu Yamazaki, Walid Biru Esafi, all new faces that they are expecting to take them to the next level this year. Meanwhile, for United City FC, a lot of new faces. You've got Kofi Bini, John Bancole, the return of Ricardo Sendra, Haji Nurhidayat. So many, so many interesting new additions that we will be keeping an eye on to see what they bring to the table. But of course, in terms of Filipinos, both sides have all of the very best. 
And players that are of international standard are on the pitch today. So we're expecting a match of uh, extremely high standard as we take a look at the starting 11. Matthew Silva, the captain, the returnee in goal. Uh, the Canadian in between the sticks will be helped by Kofi Bini, John Bancole, Ricardo Sendra, and of course the return of Mark Hartman to professional football. Kurt Dizon is back as well. Miki Clarino is in that starting 11. Naji Nurhidayat is here, an Indonesian international. And Ariel Thierry Newcomb is going to be amongst the talent as well for the United City squad as we take a look at their substitutes and so many great options to choose from off the bench. Well, United City really loading up in their return here in the, the Philippines Football League. You still have Paulo Bugas, one of the more uh, one of the standout performers in the previous Copa. And uh, they also have uh, Ivan Wano up front who can uh, cause problems. And uh, Kai FC Luilo, always, um, you know, can, you can never count them out every season. They're going to be challenging for, for titles every season. And last year, they reached their peak. And uh, this time, looking to repeat. And I think, Jing, they may have lost uh, Daiso Horikoshi, but I think the balance of the squad can uh, really help them get them over the top again this season. Lots of interesting faces for them. Akito Saito amongst the assistant captains now, or vice captains. Odi Menzi will be wearing the armband for them. Uh, one exciting prospect here is the return of Robert Lopez Mendy to the starting lineup. He's going to be leading the line, uh, injured for much of last year, but he's back to full fitness and ready to take on one of the toughest tests that the Philippines Football League has to offer United City FC. We are underway at the Rizal Memorial Football Stadium. Ganda, ganda ng atmosphere dito, Jing. No? You, uh, on a Sunday afternoon, you know, gusto mong uh, spend dito sa Rizal Memorial uh, Stadium just because of the, the quality of the match that we will be having uh, for this uh, 5.30 p.m. kickoff. Meron pa tayong isa mamaya, Manila Montet against Tagig FC. Pero this this one, I think this one will have huge, huge implications sa ating title race. And uh, it, it just so happened that they're playing in the first day of the season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fireworks right away. Normally, you know, you start a season, you want to have a little bit of a feeling out process to see ano yung mga magandang rotation, uh, how do you want to approach games. But this one, Really, so much on the line right away for both sides. Yeah, I can't complain. Honestly, I can't complain because, you know, PFL is back. We're, you know, we're, we're watching uh, top flight football. Yesterday, we were treated to some uh, nice matches. And then immediately, may mga nagpakita na ng uh, statement nila that they are going to challenge this year. I think we've, we've, uh, we've seen Minjola, uh, an improved Minjola side. You know, see action yesterday, they won 7 0 against Air Force. Manila Digger seems to be a, a tough customer as well, even for the more established clubs. And uh, Stalin also issuing a statement of intent uh, you know, earlier with that win over Garelli. And of course, in Cebu, the oh. home side handling the business against Loyola. It's all been very exciting here as Kaya looked to break Lopez Mendy. Asking a bit too much of Harvey Gayoso, who's playing on the wing today. No, no, no. The pass was available para dun kay Jan Jan Meliza. And Robert Lopez Mendy just took his time, uh, unable to release that ball earlier. Like Park Yi Young is uh, playing at uh, midfield. Definitely a man that we're going to be speaking about today, Park Yi Young. He was returning to Philippine football. Here he is on the ball right now. He was very young. Literally, nung nandito siya in his first stint. One of the most unlikely jumps from Team Sakaru in the UFL to playing in Germany. <laughs> With uh, St. Pauli FC. And uh, pa siya eh. he had one more uh, stop before uh, no, Sakaru 
General Trias. Yon. MC. <laughs> Malalim ang hugot na yun. <laughs> you gotta appreciate the journey that he's been on and it's made its way back here to the Philippines. Jan -Jan, si uh, Jan Jan Melisa has really done well there together with uh, Arvi Gayoso. Very lethal ang kanilang kombinasyon nila, Robert Lopez Mendy. Out wide. Trying to create a bit of room, Yamazaki. Gets the ball in. That's cleared away. Okay, to Saito. Lopez Mendy laying it off. Early goal for Kaya FC Luilo. The Ghanaian opens the scoring. Eric Esso. Quality build up, quality goal from Kaya FC Luilo. Talk about making a statement. Four minutes in, and it's a quality, well taken strike right here. Eric Esso, first time effort. And that's right into the bottom corner. Second phase from a corner kick. They kept going and Eric Esso introducing himself to the PFL in style. Watch this again. And uh, Silva could not handle that. The tradition of Ghanaians in Kaya FC continues, and Eric Esso ensuring that it is continuing in good fashion here on opening day. And for Kaya FC, Luilo, you couldn't ask for a better start. Early lead here. Something to relax the nerves and to get them settled in nicely into this contest. They got they had the benefit of a of a nice preseason build up. No itong uh, Kaya FC Lilo. Nakita natin doon. They look very sharp right from the get go. Pano dito yung response ng United City FC that will always be a question mark. We haven't seen this club for a while. They withdrew last year from uh, from the league, I believe, and then um, took their time and you know credit to them coming back dito sa ating liga and making you know, you know the making things interesting. And Sydney. Talked earlier in the broadcast about their ambitions. And nakita naman natin yung lineup nila with the new coach, the new management, that there is high hopes for this side. However, they are finding themselves in a bit of adversity early on. And what a start to life para kay head coach Marian Cucciaroni Mihail. One nil down and another set piece to come. Janjan Meliza to deliver this one. Under pressure, United City. Quick look at Park Yi Young. Diano. Only as far as Park. No, contact get, get from the yung, uh, ano dun, Jing, no? the the composure and the experience of Park right there. And I think now you you you, you know the, the experience and maturity now, you know, knowing when to slow the game down, knowing you no know, just just dictating the game, you no know? playing the game in your own terms, and 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 for sure the experiences. It, slowing the game, I know. Bumagal na yung laro sa kanya, you know. It, it now has come to him so slowly. Hindi na siya, hindi ka nagmamadali. Doesn't look, he's very calm now. Bangkole, the culprit for UCFC, 35 year old from Sierra Leone. 
It's giving up a free kick here. Chance for Meliza to threaten once more. Second ball falls for Diano. He takes a shot. Stings the palms of Matt Silva. The bad intentions there, got okay. Mar Diano wanted to catch uh, Silva sleeping there, and uh, that had some venom in it. And uh, good thing Matt Silva was right in that uh, position. Good puesto ni Matt Silva. Otherwise, if he was just a bit to the right. He would have had problems with that effort, Galing kay Mardiano. Konting paalala lang, wala kay uh, Mar Vincent na striker din daw siya dati. That's the call right here. Down goes Janjan Meliza. That's uh, Haji Nurhidayat, uh, Indonesian player of United City. I think uh, uh, some interest from Indonesia right now because of uh, his presence here. Actually, may kaibigan tayo dito ng uh, media na nagko-cover sa kanya. I believe he's the first Indonesian to yeah. play yeah. in the PFL. We have, have an Indonesian uh, journalist Vino coming over to uh, uh, to uh, get you know his thoughts on this move. Robert Lopez Mendy right there going down and. Uh, so, man needs no introduction. <laughs> Robert Lopez Mendy. It's been a flurry of fouls here for United City, almost like they haven't calibrated yet to mm, yeah. uh, the, the type of calls you're going to get in the PFL. Yeah, and Injun Talaver, the man with the whistle. This time from a central territory. And these are the designated set piece taker. This one headed away. It could be a start of a counter attack here. Breaking free. Newcomb finds room and just wide of the post. Wow, what an opportunity there for United City. Newcomb able to shrug off Melisa. Pace the, and power, Sidel. Grabe. Yeah, Janjan Melisa, parang uh, ano lang eh. Parang magaan na statue <laughs> na pinagilid ni uh, Newcomb. But unfortunately, the finish was not there. But he had to work very, very hard to get that opportunity his way. Chance from nothing. Molasa well, United City. They've struggled to hold on to the ball. They've struggled to really express themselves at all in this game, but in a blink of an eye, they have their first chance. Mark Hartman now, Kurt Dizon. And just a reminder, really, kung uh, ano ang kapasidad nitong uh, United City FC in. Uh, creating opportunities. This team has a lot of quality. Kurt Dizon, Mark Hartman, and the pace of Newcomb will be a, a it looks like will be a, a problem for them, the, for the opponent. Mark Hartman, always going to be a threat from a set piece, and this one, a continuation from that. They go all the way back. Forosuelo getting the ball back. Now Pete Forosuelo also returning to uh, United City. They go long here. And he is a big, strong target man up front. Number 77 from Cameroon, Ariel Thierry, Newcomb. Look at this. Just bodies Marco Casambri. Who does that <laughs> to Marco? And sooner or later, he'll get he'll get some calls his way, as well. Sendra, it's it to Hartman, who's knocking it on. And finally, now United City starting to get their chances here. 
No, biglang uh, nagka semblance of control dito from uh, United City. Mark Hartman pulling the strings along with Ricky Sendra. Hindi ko pa nakikita si uh, Troy Limbo nakahawak ng bola dun sa dulo. Jing? <laughs> That's right. Troy Limbo as well. By the way, quality, quality player. Good play, galing kay uh, Janjan Melisa. Advantage played by the referee. Melisa was clearly tugged. Dizon trying to feed it to Clarino. Dizon gets it back. Space on the right side. Part tracking him. And Casambre is there, but he's dispossessed. You know, everything. But the final pass there for Kurt Dizon lost his footing. Prong ganda na pinakita niya doon. Stayed strong, kept his balance up until that final moment. And great control and great uh, show of strength there. Galing kay Kurt Dizon. Malaking laro din to para kay Kurt. Of course, played a little bit for, for Kaya last year. Didn't get too many minutes on the pitch. And I'm sure he's going to show what they missed out on here with this match. No. Very smart play there from Kurt using that momentum of Park to uh, sh shrugging him off. And as we mentioned, UCFC growing into the game here. Hartman switching the play, trying to find Limbo. It's going to fall to him. Cut back, met by Akito. United City now on the ascendancy. Sendra. I like what I'm seeing here from United City. The response from them has been great. Casambre under pressure. Safety first. Derecho on Bolo Kay Forosuelo. This is more like the United City we know. And a reputation for keeping the ball. Dominating possession. And despite their absence, it seems they've been able to keep that up, although they are dispossessed rather cheaply here. Meliza springing on them. And Mazaki, shot blocked. Parky Young, not too far away. Well, Park proving to be a danger there. The block, and uh, he was right there and just took it under his foot. Chance came from a cheap giveaway <coughs> in the left back position. UCFC have to be careful. Janjan -Jan Meliza with lightning pace. Foul called on Yamazaki. Too much contact on John Bancole. Seventeen minutes in. UCFC wrangling control over the last five, seven minutes or so. Kaya happy to sit in and engage inside their own half. Eriki Sendra 
Looking for the runner, Mark Hartman. He's going to connect here. Naughty Menzi there to intervene. So Mark Hartman returning from uh, a hiatus as well from uh, football jing. There's an opportunity. Clear pull back there. Already Menzi feeding Esso. There a bit of pressure there. Here's the new addition in between the sticks. Spanish Moroccan, Walid Biru Esafi. It's this. Uh, it's it's one of those matches, Jing. You no, know, two teams not really taking a lot of risks, you know. And if you're United City, parang hindi pa ngayon, no, yung uh, panahon na parang you know you really go for it. I think this is still uh, too close to call with the one goal difference. No, and then, ooh, and for the uh, Rinjun Talaver. Let's take a look at it here. These are losing out. Ooh. Didn't look like you got a touch. Uh oh, oh. Yeah, a smile see a referee. Casambre not connecting with Gayoso, but they're inching their way forward. Suelo getting distance on it. Sambre wins the duel. Yamazaki bringing it down well. And able to switch the play very nicely. <laughs> Ganda nun. Melisa pulls the trigger. And that's routine for Matt Silva. Matt Silva had it all covered. Quick glimpse from Bakit three times as a team of the year in eh, the uh, Singaporean League. Itong si uh, Kaishu Yamazaki. Quality technique to bring it down yeah. under a spell. To Ganda. switch the play. Ganda nanjing. It's one thing to execute the pass and one, but another thing to find a, a teammate for that one. You can see why he's starting in midfield. He's keeping out a very good player as well in Mark Swainston, who's on the bench. Oh, Mark well, Swainston coming off a stint with the national team. Chance denied there by Matt Silva. Harvey Gayoso getting his first look at goal. You see Harvey Gayoso's got a stinging left foot. Always a danger, Harvey Gayoso. And uh, Matt Silva called into action several times already. Suelo under pressure there. Okay. Halfway through this opening period.
After the early goal, Mula Sakaya, things have leveled out a little bit here, Sedel. Oh, and, and the intensity has also gone down a bit. Play being pulled back. It's going to be an opportunity here for Walid Biru Esafi. Get some distance on this. I believe it was an offside that was called. One thing that we can see here is the ability of Kaya to play through from the back into midfield and into attack. No. A sustained spell of possession. You only have to be lethal in front of coaching to win these type of matches as well. And uh, they've certainly had their chances. Oh. Limbo. Shano maraming tao dun. Sarap ni Troy Limbo. It was well defended that time. Trying to get through three. And so, lead it on. Uh, foreign uh, delegation ng uh, Kaya FC Iloilo. We got uh, Park Yi Young, Kito Saito, and uh, Kaishu Yamazaki. And up front, you still have uh, Robert Lopez Mendy and uh, Eric Esso. They, they, they knew that all the teams were coming for them. Oh, for sure. It's kind of a different position for Kaya to be in as well. Normally, they do the hunting. This time, they are the hunted. Oh. And if you are the hunted, <laughs> you have to have all bases covered. Foul going against Park. A judge to have been a little too physical with Mark Hartman. He was uh, sporting a, a Jack Grealish uh, hairstyle. <laughs> and kung, kung uh, sa malayo eh, medyo na ano eh, na confused ako eh. He's got magic in his right foot, oh. that's for sure. Don't see uh, Mark Hartman. Floating it in. Sandra brought down. It's going to be another free kick here. And, and this time it's in a very, very promising position uh, for Ricky Sendra, another former Kaya player. See Ricky Sendra, take a look at this one. And Janjan -Jan Melissa just getting uh, some contact there sa likod ng uh, paani uh, Ricky Sendra. And all the big boys of United City FC right now. And then Dun Saharap. Mark Hartman from this type of territory, absolutely lethal. This is potentially a pivotal moment in this half. A great opportunity. Got five inside the box. There's some big boys in there for the men in white. Hartman goes direct. And there was a time when that position was parang ano eh, parang lista mo na. Noong time na yun, nung UFL days natin, lista mo na yan. Pag nandun sa edge of the area, lalo na pag it goes into a bit of a central position para kay Mark Hartman. So they got the power on it, just didn't get the accuracy. Mark Hartman. We'll be disappointed. We'll want another opportunity. You know, uh, an aura of danger. Pagnajed si Mark Hartman over the ball on a set piece. Yeah. It's contact again on uh, Robert Lopez Mendy, who's uh, done a terrific job leading the line for Kaya Jing. It's certainly been an 
a bit stop start this game. A lot of fouls from both sides. Wala, wala talaga, eh, no? Wala, no team has been able to establish a bit of moment, momentum even after that goal. No? And, uh, and these two teams know, know how to use their fouls wisely as well. Forosuelo heading that one away. Park sends it back into the danger zone. And that's a coming together. Sendra making contact with Esso. Both players down. And it looks like Sendra was worst off. Oh, and Esso also. He made contact initially, but the swing from Sendra certainly made strong contact. Are you and, and the referee is going always going to favor Sendra there. Esso was coming in, studs down, but in a stamping motion. Came out of nowhere as well. Eric Esso taking offense to Matt Silva. Ay, okay na pala siya. <laughs> His irritation and serving as a, a pain blocker all of a sudden here for Eric Esso. He is. Big lana lang tumayo eh. He really took his time here. Oof. You can see the swing. Wala kay, kay Sendra. Definitely made contact with Eric Esso. It's going to be a painful one. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to shake it off. Eric Esso already on the, on the score sheet in this match. And that's what matters. That's the, oh. that's the statistic that is most important as of the moment. Gayoso with a looper for Osuelo, heading that into the path of Silva. And Pete for Osuelo. A lot of responsibility on his shoulders this year. Well, Pete Forosuelo, uh, very experienced, Ladino Man uh, Jing. He's had uh, international experience, played in, uh, in a few AFC games as well. And I'm sure he's not afraid of the, the big, big moments. Forosuelo looking for the run of Dizon. Menzi and Cassambre there to close things down. E. Young Park. Menzi. It's good work here from Kaya. Yamazaki yeah, looking to switch the play. Meliza running into space. It's a lovely first touch. And he's dragged it wide. Lovely move from Kaya to create the opening. Another beautiful pass, Galing. Kaikaishu Yamazaki looked like he was in trouble for a minute. And look at that. That's another sumptuous ball. Uh, just a rush of blood. Galing uh, Janjan Meliza. He knew that Matt Silva was off his line. So para minadali niya yung tira na yun. He could have settled himself really well before taking the shot. Pero, you know, happened so quickly and Matt Silva was scrambling to get back into position, sayang yung opportunity na yun. Perfect na lahat. The pass oh. was perfect. The first, first touch. touch was perfect. Uh, na match ng uh, pasa yung uh, na match na yung pasa ng first touch. Eh. Pero yung tira lang yung hindi. Janjan Meliza. <laughs> Always a threat with his pace. The timing of the run was perfect as well, but uh, certainly one that could have made it two here for Kaya. Limbo. Ball into the box. You come to attack. Gayoso's clearance will go out for a throw in. So Kaya obviously with more opportunities here. Lead to starting first half. Now, we're in the balance of play, they deserve uh, this uh, one-goal lead that they have right now. 
Lovely reverse ball mula kay Lopez Mendy. Gayoso has a look up. He's got two options inside the box. Decides to slow things down. Park joins in. Yamazaki gets it back. Clarino stayed firm. And it looks like an early substitution is being prepared here for United City. One Paulo Bugas set to enter the game. And he's going to be coming on for Miggy Clarino, the right back. Very interesting here. Obviously, uh, an, uh, tactical substitution, yeah, you know, adding another attacker. For Miggy Clarino, snipe is done. And Paulo Bugas is going to slot in uh, right up front. Kasabay ni Newcomb. He's getting involved immediately. Wins a free kick, shielding the ball very well. Paulo Bugas, alam na alam natin yung quality. And uh, Paulo, one of the finest players to come out of uh, that FEU program. And also um, had a breakout. Um, breakout campaign with Davao Aguilas Yumak in the last uh, Copa. Matagal siya na wala si no? Delph. Eh? What, a, what a way to announce his Alam return. Mo, na, nakikita ko na si Paulo Bugas nagdi-drill sa bahay. Yeah. And the next thing I know, I see him score a long-range bomb against um, uh, what is that? Cebu? Goal of the the uh, of that competition easily. Almost at the halfway line. He hit that against Cebu and in a crucial contest as well. I believe that was the semi finals yeah. that he did that. Grabi dento si Paulo Bugas. And he's getting involved immediately here. Babalik sa kanya. So, adjustment dito si Miggy Clarino. Mula sa right back position in the labas. Si Pete Forrest will yeah. slide over. At pumasok sa gitna si John Bancole. Alongside Kofi Bini. And on that left side is uh, Haji Nurhidayat. Newcomb, it's more of a 4 2 uh, 3 1 now for uh, United City FC. Yamazaki. Switching the play nicely once more. Meliza one on one with Nur Hidayat. Delivers the ball. Parang hindi ko na naman na gusto niyong pasa na yun ni ano. Ni Kaishu yung masaki jing. I think you might need a highlight reel <laughs> just for Kaishu, huh? Kaya nga eh. And this was the, the call against uh, Paulo Bugas. I boot on. <laughs> Park Yi Young, but again, yung, alam mo yung na notice ko dito, yung mga may si yung medyas, no? Gal magaling talaga yung mga <laughs> pumasa yun, no? Automatic yun, pag nakita mo, <laughs> ah, maliit yung shin guards, oh, ano yan? mababa yung socks, <laughs> nako, delikado yan. Mukhang uh, specialist, <laughs> <laughs> maestro. <laughs> And my artistry eh, in what they do. Melissa plays it short. And just a uh, miscommunication in the situation. Na yun, but and this is the pace. You know, both teams really just picking their spots. No, kung uh, kailan po pressure, kailan umatake. They've been very patient. Good anticipation there from Casambre. Sanjay recovering for UCFC. And they go long. Newcomb. Saito doing well. Yi Young. Wriggles free. Lovely work from the midfielder. Finds Yamazaki. Lopez Mendy. He's looking for the return ball. Got his feet mixed up. Limbo. Breaking free, 
Limbo's got space on the left side. Oh, he's offside. Flag up on this near side. Was he, or was he? Let's have a look at it here. No, I don't think it was. I think Lumagpas yung bola sa linya, Jing. Oh, outside for yeah. Troy Limbo. Natama. Kita kita din naman. Onside siya when he received that ball. But what a chance. Sana dito para sa United City. So happy the crowd is back here at Rizal Memorial Stadium, Jing. Kung uh, titingnan mo, it's a. Uh, Still have people in the bleachers, but over here in the grandstand. Why not? No. Great contest on a weekend. Watch some quality football. You f you feel the excitement, the hype around the league. It's it's fantastic to feel that energy around Philippine football oh. is there. You're coming off a 10, 10k strong as well in the, everything is in the on the up really and this one my support Molakai for a suelo he's looking for the early ball half cleared by Menzi Bugas taking charge Gayoso takes it away and Harvey showing us his defensive chops there through the legs of Lopez Mendy and into Forosuelo. He's been lively since coming on, Bugas. Oh, and, and, I, and what I like about him is, you know, he's trying to get on the ball early and, you know, looking up, looking, you know, looking to advance the ball forward, looking to create. So immediately, he, he carries a bigger threat, you know, compared to, you know, the si that Migi Clarino. Looking for Newcomb. Esso. Diano has his head up. There's room on the right side. Melisa has gone central. Now Mark Hartman has also gone deeper into that number six role. It's going to be a bit too much for Gayoso to chase. Park looking for the switch of play. Harvey Gayoso has had some stellar performances para sa kaya in the international level. Scored twice in the Champions League. Sandra. It's been a lovely duel between these players in the middle. Sandra and Esso. Yeah, really, two teams that have a lot of experience, you know. A less experienced player would not get in the way. But I think Esso. And doing well enough to de delay what United City was planning to do. Melisa taking contact on the follow through there. He's still on the ground, clutching his back. Beanie, very forceful with his clearance, that's for sure. Lopez Mendy pleading the case. And perhaps there should be action taken on Beanie, but. Probably a bit harsh. Kofi Bini was trying to get distance. Not sure there was any malicious intent from him. Yeah. Twenty-two years of age, Coffee Beanie, and you know, he looks very experienced for a twenty-two-year-old. Jing looks very comfortable there at the back. Seems like he has gone through a few um, 
tough matches. It's like he's earned his stripes at, uh, from a uh, high level. Taking his time here, Walid Biru is Safi. Tell me if I'm wrong here, Sadaf. That is a dyed beard on him. Yeah, looks like it. I've been squinting and trying to make sure. Lopez Mendy going for the spectacular there. So Matt Silva might have been drifting off his line. Well, Mark, Mark Hartman clapping. <laughs> Maybe uh, A for effort that time, but you know, ito yung mga ginagawa ng mga players, Jing, that you know, seem to, you know, the, the experience that we have on the field right now is really the reason why we're having this type of game. Nobody wants to make a mistake. Everything, everyone wants to slow things down, you know, and, and pick their chances, pick their spots. Kailan, you know, when they go full speed. Yeah, may ganito tayong classing game ngayon. One aspect that we really are seeing, nobody wants to lose their duel. Yeah. So they certainly picked up the physicality, and we've seen it would be very interesting to see how many fouls we've had in this game. Actually, we, we, we've, we've stopped counting. <laughs> United City here probing with the half coming to a close. It would be a great time to find an equalizer, that's for sure. Bugas. Trying to lift that into the path of Dizon. It was a tight space. He was looking for an angle there. Hartman dropping deeper. It's going to affect the game. I think they, they haven't really done enough to swing the the ball from left to right or right to left. No, there, there's not much of that here. Nurhidayat. Only half cleared. It's handball. Harsh handball there on Newcomb. I was trying to say, "Saan niya lalaga yung kamay niya?" Then as a chest, yeah. Tatago sa jersey. <laughs> Two minutes ang uh, dinagdag dito. I thought there could have been more <laughs> with the number of stoppages that we've had here in this match. Hugas running into trouble. Sandra picking up the pieces. Hartman. It's a lovely ball forward. Limbo onside. That's lovely weight on the pass as well, Jing. One on one against Diano. Limbo. Newcomb. Hartman swinging it to the right side. Sender squares it. And it's going to be a corner kick for United City. It's a great build up, Galing's uh, United City FC. And that's really the first time that we've seen them. Jing swing that ball from left to the right, and this time trying to put that one in the face of goal. Kaya able to deal with it. There, there's a corner now. We're probably the last kick of the first half. Bit of that cutting edge here from United City. A whistle blown against Ricky Sendra for using his hands. Too much tugging. And pulling on Diano. That'll likely be the last sequence of play here in this opening period. Kaya FC Iluilo doing enough to hold on to a slim advantage here. And thanks to an early goal from Eric Esso. Whistle was in the mouth of Linjun Talaver, but he's going to let this one play on. Limbo. And that one stopped in the tracks by Park Yi Young. There is the halftime whistle. Goal from Eric Esso. The difference between the two teams. An early strike setting the tone for the defending champions as they head into the break. One goal ahead over United City FC. Ladies and gentlemen. 
gentlemen, we want to thank you all for coming today in the second day of our <laughs>
down on the ground But I really be jealous Cause I'm too right in their mind In their minds Swear with me, boy Don't go cry in their minds Come on, every boy There's a fight In their minds Time at the Rizal Memorial Football Stadium between United City FC and Kaya FC Iloilo. It's been a tight match between the two sides. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from that opening period. It did not take long for the scoring to get started. Eric Esso with that one very early in the match. Now it took, it, took Kaya just four minutes to break the deadlock. And United City getting their best chance of that uh, opening 45 minutes. Newcomb shrugging off uh, Melisa and uh, he wanted to get that one back but uh, over here Kurt Dizon doing well here to get all the way to the end line and at the final moment lost his balance and the uh, goalkeeper was there to make sure that the danger was averted and this was the uh, best spell of uh, the match Paradito say United City and uh, take a look at the stats and uh, Nokaya FC Luilo owning the possession game and the, the shots on target as well. And, uh, you know, United City, you know, I just have a feeling, Jing, that they're, they're, they're too, they're a bit too conservative here in the Lavang Clubs. You know, they, it seems like they're, they're, they're pulling their punches a little bit, you know, and it's understandable because it's the first match of the season. You don't want to make big mistakes and uh, 
uh, gusto nila you know they, they want to get away from this na makakuha sila ng, ng points second half action about to get started let's throw it over to Sydney before we see second half get underway Sydney Patience is, is what both coaches want to see. To reiterate in this match for Kaya FC to be patient, to dominate not just after one goal or one half of the match, but the whole 90 minutes. Coach Yu said that they were doing a great job in the first 5 to 10 minutes until medyo na relax na ang kanya mga players. He asked them to play smart, especially that they've had too many opportunities to score. While United has to be patient in their place to start, Coach Marian believes Kaya FC was the more determined squad squad in the field, which was a problem for him. Yes, he recognized that they're trying to create more, and given that they've only been together for two months, patience is really the key to escape the defending champions. Back to you guys. Thank you so much. Sydney Crespo on the sideline. UCFC and Kaya FC Luilo have a big 45 minutes ahead of them. And the bright lights of Rizal Memorial Stadium shining down on them. No more heat to contend with. And, and this is the type of game that you want to see on a Sunday night. And the crowds, the crowd is here. You know, ganda ng turnout natin, Jing. Lively atmosphere. Enjoying this highly anticipated clash between the defending champions and the champions prior to them. It's a high-level contest. And nakikita naman natin the players on the pitch uh, possess plenty of quality. And it's now time for them to open things up a little bit. We saw 10 fouls total. Six from United City, four for Akaya. It's been a bit of a, uh, a stop-and-start contest, a bit chippy between the two sides. And now, hopefully, medyo nakakalibrate na sila sa whistle ni Linjun Talaver. And we'll see something a little bit more free-flowing yeah, as the second half gets underway. Especially dun sa early part ng ating game, no? No, United City, you know, yung marami silang touch, touch fouls na kinumit, no? And that was uh, led to the, really the stop-start nature of the match. Pero ngayon, and I think the introduction of Paulo Bugas has, has given them uh, a bit more of a, on an, an attacking threat, no? And, and you know, paghawak ni Paulo yung bola, always looking to combine, always looks up, and always wants to advance that ball. So, uh, ganda. And we'll see if, you know, the extended time on the pitch will lead to good things para dito sa United City. There's an early shuffle as well. Nurhi Dayat now on the right side of the defense para sa United City. Pete Forosuelo has been moved over to the left side. You can see Nurhi Dayat so high up on the pitch. And it seems like UCFC are intent on adding uh, attacking options from the flanks through their fullbacks. Yeah, lovely touch there. Galing kay Paolo Bugas, but he was offside. Kita, kita ko nasa linya natin yung Ultras making themselves heard inside the Rizal Memorial Stadium. Norhidayat with his hands up, but Linjun Talaver not convinced. Let's take a look at it here. Gendang Ju Walian with. Uh, Harvey Gayoso. Nur Hidayat, I believe, played here uh, during the 2019 Southeast Asian Games. He's got two caps at the senior level for Indonesia. And that's not a national team that's easy to break into. <laughs> uh, certainly not. He's here bringing a bit of quality in the defense of United City, but they're under pressure here, right in front of goal. And Audi Menzi got on the end of that great ball, Galike Jan Jan Meliza. And Menzi right here. Nobody there getting in between Audi Menzi and the goal. And that was an easy, easy opportunity. Sana para dito sa Kaya. Yamazaki. Gayoso, part pulled back. 
didn't need to do that. Newcomb. Newcomb. Saying he fell down easily, but you will see his arm goes over the shoulder. That little pull. In <laughs> part, the experienced player that he is will milk that one. We have seen Newcomb. His strength is uh, parang next level. Para sa kanya mahina lang yun. <laughs> yun nga eh. Pero sa ibang tao. <laughs> Pinalipad niya kanina si uh, John John Melisa, si Marco Casambre. And now Park has felt his strength as well. Two over the ball. John John Melisa, Park Yee Young, the other one. So a right footer and a left footer. Yee Young. That's over the crossbar. So Matt Silva got a bit confused there. Nilapita niya muna bago. And, and the ball was going away. So interesting times here for uh, United City. And you know, what can they do? The, the onus is on them, really, to you know, get, uh, test this kind of defense. Newcomb, perhaps getting away with a bit of a pull on Esso. He's able to push it forward. Limbo. Menzi putting a stop to that attack. Bugas now on the second phase. Dizon. It's good play on the left side from both Limbo, Bugas, and uh, Nukam as well. Letting that attack continue. Great touch, Malakai Limbo, and now it's Bugas here. And you can see what this United City side is capable of going forward. They do have some very creative and nippy players sa kanilang uh, side. Especially on this left side, when, when Limbo and, and Bugas combine, they are a handful. Two players quite familiar with each other. Had a deep run in the Copa Paulino Alcantara with Davao. And now they're bringing their talents over to United City. That familiarity really paying off here early in the second. It looks like they're gonna be a force. They're gonna be a force to be reckoned with. Bugas. Menzi getting his body in the way. Sendra taking that one into the Mid rib. He's had the wind knocked out of him. And fair play right here. Ricky Sendra. Menzi looking to clear. It's a lot of power on this ball, and it's straight to his stomach. Sendra's going to be okay. Fair play, Molasa United City, as they send this ball back to the Spanish Moroccan. One of six foreigners on the pitch right now for Kaya. For those unfamiliar, it is a five plus one rule in effect now in the Philippines Football League. And that's a new rule for this season. That means you're allowed five foreigners in the outfield. And if you have a foreign-born goalie, then you can put that in as well. That makes it five plus one. And Kaya have made sure to use that rule to its fullest. Limbo. Cutting inside and then out, but Diana was there to recover. Oh, good move na yon ni Troy Limbo. And really had the defender, Akito Saito, turned inside out ganda lang ng recovery ni uh, Mardiano uh, Limbo certainly a player that is 
coming alive here in the second half. Medyo matagal. Bago natin siya nabanggit in that first period. No, I think now with Bugas there, nabibigyan ng opportunity dito na mapakita, makapagpakita si uh, Troy Limbo because it, the ball has been going to that side. With Mark Hartman now right in front of the defense with a range of passing that he has. Nakikita niya yung mga butas eh. He's, he's finding that room on the flanks. That's a push. This is a natin dito. Yan. good area here for Kaya. Quick look at Ricky Sandra and Nur Hidayat. Janjan Maliza going to be the one to send this one into the box. Seven to aim at for Maliza. That's Silva punching it away. Confident keeping from the captain. Matt Silva ensuring that he didn't get a chance to Kaya and uh, had to be very, very brave there. And so missing it. We're navigating the tight space here. Sendra outlet is blocked. Yeah, Eric Esso. And all over, especially at that uh, on the attacking front for Kaya. Esso. And Tito see Melisa looking for the one two, gets it back. Kaishu Yamazaki. Maganda na supporta dun na. Binigay ni Parky Young and Kaisho para kay John John Melisa and the attack continues here. Diano, nakalusot sa dalawa. Passes it to Gayoso. It's a bit scrappy here. But Kaya keeping the ball nonetheless. Saito. Pushing forward. A strong challenge <laughs> from the forward. Sabi niyo nyo, Gam, konting ano lang yun ah. Tingnan nga natin dito, Jing. Hindi eh. Hindi eh. Nakala ko pa naman, konting tulak lang. Parang konting frustration mula kay Nyo Gam doon. They're exchanging fouls here as Bugas is clipped by Park Yi Young. Yeah, Bugas has shown that he is going to be an influential player for United City. He's just got that quality you know, on the ball. And, and, and now with, you know, as, as he became older, you know, ang, ang ganda ng pag evolve niya into a, you know, to a, into a much more, a much smarter player, really. Certainly a character that you want on the pitch. Itong si uh, Paulo Bugas. A player that you can rely on and is confident to receive the ball at all times. Offside ang itinatawag dito kay uh, Troy Limbo. It's going to be the first substitution coming in now. It's going to be uh, Eric Esso who's going to come off. Mark Swainston. Entering the pitch. And Mark Swinston impressed on his international debut for the Philippines. And now this substitution about to take place. Mm -hmm. 
Substitution for Kai SC Lilo. Player number 25, Eric Esso, replaced by player number 6. Goal scorer coming Sweet. off for the newly minted Philippine international. We'll see how Mark Swainston affects this match. Well, Mark Swainston playing at midfield, taking on the role of uh, Esso. So I think I don't see uh, Yamasaki will now take on an advanced position here, Jing. Keeping possession. Bancole. <coughs> an interesting move here for Kaya as they've taken off a foreigner for a Philippine player. So they've got only five total out on the pitch as Mark Swinston nips in here. Meanwhile, United City still have the maximum six on the pitch with Matt Silva in between the sticks. Meliza cutting inside. The shooting boots just haven't been quite on here for Jan Jan Meliza. He certainly had the opportunities. Well, that was a type of move na gustong gusto ni Jan Jan Meliza. Had the ball on his left foot, cutting inside, had a good angle to fire at and uh, just lofted it over and... Uh, Insan, talaga, no? the tendency of Janjan Jan is to really whack that ball. And you lose that, that accuracy sometimes pag tinira mo ng ganon yung bola. Swingston. But he's not going to miss often from that area as well. They certainly do now. He's had about two or three opportunities in this game. He's getting in the right positions, that's for sure. I don't see uh, Jan Jan Meliza. Park switching it. Sambra getting forward. Lopez Mendy. And it poked away. Quite a few warming up now for Kaya as we have 30 minutes left in this match. But it's going to be United City who pulled the trigger first. Ivan Oano. Hinahanda dito. An attacking threat. Gayoso offside. And Kitang Kita naman doon just went a little bit early there. So, ito na. Opportunidad para makapasok si Ivan Oano. At papalitan dito si Kurt Dizon. He's gone a little bit quiet now on his side of the pitch. And he's come off on the far side. Second substitution for United City. They'll have only one more opportunity to change at this point. I believe you are allowed five substitutes. Three opportunities to do it. And since they pulled the trigger early on in the first half, and now they've done so again here with Ivan Oano. Isang opportunity na lang. Yung, yung uh, halftime sayang yun eh, because you could also pull the trigger oh. at halftime and, and it won't count in your windows. Yep. And one of the changes after the, the pandemic. That change happened during the pandemic for pandemic purposes and then just been kept on board uh -oh. as it's been appreciated. Limbo. Unable to keep possession. It's good pressure there from Kaya. Just a good lang ni Goyoso yung pasa. Cut out. Now, offside ang itatawag doon. Medyo nagmadali si Ivan Oano. So, 
confirmation of the substitution as Kurt Dizon makes way. Ivan Owan is certainly a different type of player to Kurt Dizon. More physical type of prospect. Yamazaki's shot is blocked and room for a counter. Bugas. He's looking for the run of Owano. It's going to be too strong of a pass anyway. Yeah, and uh, also as well, Odi Menzi smartly blocking the run of uh, Ivan Wano. And milk in the clock. It's Biru Isafi. So two more windows for Kaya. To, to make changes. One, only one para dito sa United City. It's a well-contested game, Jing. And you're just waiting for this one to open up. And, and, and really, the, the match needs a spark of some sort. Just to remind everybody, the stakes are extremely high for this game. These are two early... Uh, what you would say preseason title favorites uh -oh. heading into this season. And so para Sakaya, uh, getting that early goal was a, a big advantage for them, an opportunity for them to to ask the question to UCFC. Kaya nyo ba kami buksan? Uh -oh. And so far, whatever UCFC has done, Kaya has always had a response. For Suelo, using his body well. A nice battle there with Chanchan Meliza. Sendra trying to play quickly. Linjun Talavera wants it pulled back. Initially lost the position there to Meliza, but had done enough. Pete for Suelo. is certainly on United City to find the spaces to be more positive in their approach. And look at Paulo Bugas trying to win the ball back. There you see it. I would love to see it if you're a United City fan. And just a little bit of a sense of urgency here. They need to pick up the pace. The tempo certainly in favor of the team in the lead. Nahaba no, 25 minutes, but you know, you, the, the trend has really continued here in the second half. You know, two teams not really not willing to take risks, and again, as we mentioned, it's not a knock on either one of them. It's just the way things go, especially with a tight contest like this one. Melisa, lovely piece of skill. Carries into midfield, Gayoso. I'm trying to touch that into the path of Mark Swainston. That's a wasted opportunity for Kaya. That's a chance to counter and... Binalik nila yung bola. And that counter really was snuffed out. Their own doing. And you expect as United City push men forward, it's going to be those types of moments that will be there for Kaya to take advantage of. If they get a second, Sidelf could be a death blow by us uh, UCFC. Well, see how solid Kaya is defensively. <laughs> They're not easy to breach, Jing. At, uh, double substitution. Ang gagawin dito ni Coach Yu Hoshide. Mukhang papalitan niya si Marco Casambre. Papasok si Fitch. Johnson Arboleda. And papasok na rin dito. Si Shuto Komaki to make his Kaya and PFL debut. And coming off is Robert Lopez Mendy. And fresh legs now for Kaya, FC Luilo. Fitch Arboleda. 
very experienced campaigner. I believe he was the captain last season. Jing? At least in the Copa. Yeah, and, and uh, shoot to Komaki. First taste of PFL action. Let's see what he's made of. Confident catch. Malakai Biro Usafi. Looping ball into the hands of the keeper. And it's going to be a first touch here for Arboleda. It's a positive one as well as the two substitutes link up on the left side. Komaki. Cross was well stopped by Bini. Arboleda continuing his run. That's strong defending from Nur Hidayat. Fitch Arboleda going to get a talking to here. Good then the timing and challenge Dayan from uh, Nur Hidayat. And the ability to uh, keep his balance as well, no? to, to rise up immediately and control that ball. Getting a first taste of PFL action as well, no Hidayat. Pakilala lang naman si no. uh, Fitch Arboleda. Arboleda winning that. And a lively start for him entering this game. Good touch. Decent turn as well from Mark Swainston. Twenty minutes to go. Needing a bit of inspiration, the men in white. Great touch from Limbo. He would accelerate on the turn and he's clipped by Melisa. Look at that. Lovely bit of skill there from Troy Limbo. Switch a play from Hartman. Or Hidayat. He's really sh shown something here, Nuri Dayat. Swingston getting his body in the way, no whistle. Mark Hartman disguising the pass. Newcomb called for offside. That's going to be an interesting one to look back on. Did he drift? Ah, it's tight. Very tight. That was tight. Could have gone either way, that one. Ooh. I don't think so, Jing. I don't think so. Timing would have been, could have been just right. I don't think so. But of course, there's a benefit of replay. Oh. Assistant referee on the far side doesn't have the luxury. Melisa running into limbo. Yamazaki pulls the trigger. And that is a big save from Matt Silva. Yamazaki finding himself in a, having a good angle there. Nobody close by. The challenge was a bit late. Silva called into action and is near. No, rather on the right side. And Yamazaki just the power on that shot. And you saw how much it ricocheted on Sakamai. Ni Matt Silva. Yung tira na yun from Yamazaki. Layo ng talbog. On that save, Jing. Packed some venom there. It's going to be a corner kick. Komaki to deliver. Komaki's in-swinger. 
Saito winning his battle. It was a tamed effort for Matt Silva. Trying to get his team up the field here, Matt Silva. Not a lot of time left for United City to get back into this game. Diano called for the foul. Perhaps a bit of holding. Mark Hartman assessing his options. Ang bigat lang dito, Jingno, for UCFC. They really have to turn that uh, you know, the intensity up a notch to break this uh, Akaya FC team down. And very organized and also carrying a threat on the counter. Melisa. They had numerical advantage there. But <laughs> Binalik Komaki. Shot is blocked. Saito under pressure. They're going to find Diano. And this is what we're talking about. Then the match needs to open up. And it's opened up quite nicely for us here. Gayoso. Offside. Yeah, got a bit too casual there. Harvey on that one. And uh, Diano as well, the culprit, didn't need to release that pass. He was actually in acres of space there. He could have taken a couple of touches, pa. Here comes a pair of substitutions now for United City. Chester Gio Pabualan coming on. Another attack, attacking threat, Jing. Gio Pabualan. The night for Troy Limbo. Who could be quite happy with the outing that he's put on here. Decent performance from the left winger. Well, when he had the ball, does he throw Limbo? He really carried a threat. So uh, you gotta like what you saw from him. And Pete Forosuelo also ending his night. So it looks like they might be gambling a little bit here. Fresh legs in the left back position. Or rather, Nur Hidayat has moved back to the left side. And Taninko occupying the right full back position. He's actually a young player. We'll see Taninko, part of that under 20 side. Only 19, Jay. What a time to make your debut in the PFL. Fourteen minutes and change remaining in this game. The United City giving chase here. It's that early goal that they still haven't been able to equalize. I'll, I'm, I'll, they'll get a couple of more chances, I feel. Itong uh, UCFC. And so far, hindi pa natin nakikita. Eh. In action, itong si Biru Isafi, aside from really one high ball that he caught with confidence, hasn't really had to make a save. You can... Getting ahead of Diano. Pabuwalan feeds Bugas. He's one on one with Saito. Bugas rifling it into Sendra. And stepped into uh, 
Parky Young, Ricky Sendra. That's why the call was made. Park in some pain. You know, yung mahirap na pasa dun because medyo mabigat and Sendra was unable to control, but may space dun eh. If he had a really good first touch, I thought he had a he would have time to spray that ball sa mga kakampi niya. Taking the time, every opportunity they get. No rush for the men in black. Room to turn. Boalan. Pressuring Diano. Enough was, to win a throw in. Oh, well, there was a touch from Diano. Meliza knocks it on. Bini was there. You watch it clearly for Leo's last touch was on Nur Hidayat. Senja getting it to Bugas who nicked it forward and safety first for Diano. Got to look alive here as Bugas playing quickly. Much needed increase in tempo here. Yeah, that's for sure, you know. Not much time here for United City to come back and chase an equalizer. Maki gets it forward. Nice run here for Gayoso. Takes it to the end line. Melisa stopped on the end line. No, nope, it's the goal. Yeah, it counts. What a move for Kaya FC Iloilo. A much needed second, and you can see how much it means. No, Harvey Gayoso just having an extra gear right there. This one, that push, it took a deflection. Melisa was right there, yes. That got past the line. Tina natin dito. This is a much better angle. The, the initial stop with the two hands perhaps was already beyond the line. Yes. That's true, but tight. That was tight, though. Nonetheless, that goal will stand. John John Meliza, he's looked lively all match long, and uh, this is the goal he truly deserves. Jing, that, that took a, an extra effort from him. Nama abutan pa yon and can, you know, get on the end of that cross. Yannick Arvi Gayoso. He come close on a few occasions. And finally. That burst of speed, though, from Harvey. Uh, you know, sometimes you, you think you had it, him figured out. And, but the quanting push, there's the explosiveness factor mm. ni Harvey Gayoso that sometimes nakakalimutan ng mga depensa dito sa PFL. Meliza and Gayoso now linking up once more. And Bini going down. Gayoso making his case. Was there a shove? And Bini certainly under pressure there and done decently well.
Desperate moments now here for United City. You really have no choice here, but to get players forward, United City. They haven't really found the connections they need going forward. pair of substitutions about to be made here for Kaya. Joven Bedik and Marvin Angeles coming on. A pair of highly experienced Kaya veterans going to be introduced as Kaishu Yamazaki looks like he's going to be withdrawn. Nice debut here for... Yeah, absolutely. No, ang uh, kulang lang yung goal eh. So pagpakilala sa kanya ng sarili niya. Had a really good opportunity in the second Those half, but we will definitely see more of those defense splitting passes in the future here, Jing. Kaishu Yamazaki, a man to watch in this season of the PFL. And Harvey Gayoso makes way as well. Be a triumphant debut for Park Yi Young. At least it seems that way with five minutes remaining. Joven Bedik winning the whistle there against Nur Hidayat. One thing he does so well, the man from Barota Nuevo, is to use his body shielding the ball. They baited Nur Hidayat to use his hands there to try to get in front of him. And now it's going to be a free kick in a very dangerous area. Hakaya well, just reminding us, Jing, uh, they are still the team to beat here in the PFL. Defending champions for a reason. Oh. And this was a tight game all throughout you know, and the stop start nature of this game actually illustrated how much the teams didn't want to lose okay so but you know that piece of brilliance from harvey and and jan jan there and uh, the way eso finished that first half goal first half strike you know kaya just having that extra bit of quality against this uh, United City team. And it seems to be, you know, getting there. Far from a finished product, itong United City, but there are some early promising signs from this team. One thing you can say about Kaya's that experience of winning silverware, going to the Champions League. No. They, they were not panicked. Oh, at any point, la, la, you know, and, and the, the the calmness of the play from Kaya, you know, you can see that the intensity was up. They play at their own pace. Composure is there. A very professional performance oh. from the champions today. And the, and and the way their players conduct themselves on the field as well. Always a purpose to what they do. And here they are holding on to possession, taking the sting out of the game. Not the best clearance. Sandra getting caught on the ball, but he's done well to recover. Here's Swainston shepherding the entire way. 
13 matches to go for both clubs. Sinabi nga natin, isa sa mga pinaka-highly anticipated na matchups ito uh, throughout the season. Uh, swerte lang tayo na on opening weekend, nakita natin mm -hmm. kagad. But, but there will be some really good matchups, Jing, for sure. I'm pretty certain of that, no? And, uh, hindi pa natin nakikita yung Davao Aguilas uh, Yumak. Mm -hmm. Ang uh, tagig, makikita pa natin. Mamaya. Uh, later on, against uh, a newcomer. Uh, two newcomers going head-to-head, -head actually. With uh, Manila Montet seeing action. And that one, a very fresh entity uh, with a lot of new faces to be introduced into the uh, Philippine top flight. I was, I was hoping, though, Jing, that uh, you know, UCFC would you know, take a little bit more risk here after going 2-0 down. And push players forward. Showed a little bit too much there to Janjan -Jan Meliza, who's had an eventful evening. No, uh -huh. defensively and on attack. Look at him helping out his teammates and uh, getting the foul in the process. A lot to think about here for head coach Marian Kuchi Yaroni Mihail. Yeah, but in the Pangan and the coach, you know. Challenge. Challenge. <laughs> coach Marian Alang. By the way, Pasado Namana. You've done well, my friend. <laughs> Four minutes. Apat a minuto. Ang ida dag dag. KFC Iloilo will be very pleased that they've passed on this first hurdle. And Nur Hidayat committing the same mistake against Jovin Bidik. He's allowed him to back him down. And in order to get in front, he needed his arms. He showed too much to Linjun Talaver. Another whistle blown. Free kick, wide area. For Kaya. And Bidik trying to guide that one goalwards. Angeles nipping in. Great awareness. Pass to Komaki. Straight into the hands of Matt Silva. He's trying to play quickly here. Pabuala now. Or rather, that's Bugas. Melisa, solid challenge. Oh. Ang ganda na pinakita ni Jan Jan Melisa sa laban na to, no? Spreading the ball wide. Back to Arboleda. Bit of a loose pass there. Can they take advantage? United City back into the path of Newcomb. Slides in Papu Allen. It was offside anyway. It was also a piece of good goalkeeping for Biru Isafi. Oh, again. Again, a, a close one, but I think this was more offside than the one that we had earlier. Jing. And what a chance there for United City. First stop. It's not going to be officially. Uh, listed as a save uh, para kay uh, Biru Esafi, but nakita mo naman holding his body position, making himself big there. Ricky Sendra! And that's the first real stop 
for the man from Spain. Too little, too late here for United City. Taya has these three points in the bag. <laughs> these two have clashed on at least three occasions now. Joven Bedik and Nur Hidayat. It's been a battle between the substitute and the Indonesian fullback. It's been eventful for Nur Hidayat. Played on the left side, played on the right side, back again on the left side. Been involved but, in a lot of scuffles. Oh, oh but uh, I, I, I think we'll see more of him this season. A really good player. And Joven Bedik going to ride out the clock here. And there is the final whistle. Three points in the bag for the defending champions. A big test to start their season. And they passed with flying colors here as they take maximum points 2 0 against United City FC. Very business like performance from uh, the reigning champions, Kai FC Luilo. Two goals in either, one goal in either half. And uh, an early strike settling them down before wrapping up the victory with uh, a, a lovely team goal, courtesy of uh, Jan Jan Meliza. And uh, you know, full three points, first test passed para dito sa ating uh, reigning champions. And this was, this is going to be a very tricky encounter for Kaya FC Luilo Jing, you know, regardless of opponent you know we knew united city and uh, there was a lot of mystery surrounding what they will be putting out what type of squad they will be putting out and how that squad will play but uh, you know i think continuity and and really you know the, the sustained organization and, and cohesion of this kaya side and that experience as well pulling them through you know when you go to kaya the expectation that this is what you know this is what our plans are this is how we're going to play i think help that identity and uh, help them surpass this early test eric esso stamping his mark on his debut for kaya early goal to settle the nerves and really set the tone for the entirety of the match New newcomb he looked lively in this game oh but no, he no. really should have buried that one if he had done so would have been a completely different contest. Oh, I, I think United City will, will really have, you know, they will offer more. They will offer more of a challenge to the other teams. It just so happened that they ran into a very experienced Kaya side that looked very sharp okay. to start their campaign. And then, you know, opportunities like this might come more often against the lesser squads. And United City certainly have some work to do to get themselves up and running in this 2024 PFL season. And this was the, the goal that gave them a bit of breathing room. Nice work from Harvey Gayoso. John Jan Meliza turning in his first goal of the season. That made it 2 0. And at that point, it was just beyond the former champions in United City. It's time for us now to check in with Sydney Crespo. The defending champions will take home their first win, and our man of the match is Kaishu Yamazaki. Kaishu, first of all, congratulations. Now, as defending champions, how important is it to win your first match? Uh, first, thank you so much. Uh... Uh, I'm man of the match, but uh, you know we uh, team play, so I'm glad to teammate. And uh, uh, so big win today because of uh, we are defending champion. Then our target is a champion also. Uh, yeah, but we already focus for next match. 
Now, Kaishu, you made some really nice passes and you were comfortable on the ball. What will the PFL fans see from you uh, this season? Uh, uh, I think today also we cannot win without the supporter. Uh, so please continue to support us. Thank you so much, Kaishu. Enjoy this first win. Again, that's our match, man of the match. Back to you guys. Match didn't list a goal or an assist in this game, but he showed that he was a fantastic player and certainly controlled the midfield. And the evening not yet finished as we will see the debut of two new teams to the top flight of Philippine football. Manila Montet FC will take on one Tagig FC. And that will take place in just a few moments. Thank you for watching this marquee matchup between United City FC and Kaya FC Iloilo. The champions up and running in season 2024. For my partner, Sudelf Tupas, my name is Jing Hamlang. Thank you for watching and stick around for the next match. Always try to pull me down on the ground, but I hit it, be jealous, cause I'm the right.